With WrestleMania 40 being around the corner, there are 10 different things that I need to see or that we need to see in order for it to be absolutely perfect. For it to be one of, if not the best WrestleManias of all time, and in fact, try and surpass last year's WrestleMania, which for me is in the top three WrestleManias of all time. It was perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. These are the 10 things that we need to see at WrestleMania 40. The first thing is probably the most obvious thing, so let me get it out of the way first, and that is for Cody Rhodes to finish his story. It seemed as if it was going to happen. Cody Rhodes won the Royal Rumble, it was going to happen. Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns set in stone. But then Rocky, the Rock, came in and decided to ruin it all, ruin the party, and destroy it all. But then the We Won Cody movement from the Cody crybabies like myself pushed and pushed for Cody Rhodes to finish his story. So what did WWE do? They changed the whole situation and put Cody Rhodes in the main event versus Roman Reigns on night two of WrestleMania. Now, this has to be it. Cody Rhodes has to finish his story. I get it maybe wasn't the plan. I get you might have wanted The Rock and then Cody to finish it after Roman beats Hogan's record. We can't have that. We cannot have that. Cody Rhodes needs to finish the story now. If he loses at WrestleMania, it's done for. You might as well pack him in a bag and send him back to the Young Bucks. You might as well pack him up and send him back to Tony Khan with a paycheck saying thanks for letting us use him for a while. Bye bye, bitch. <laughs> you have to have Cody Rhodes finish the story on this occasion. There is no other option. You can see the worldwide support for him to finish the story. People are tired of Roman Reigns to a certain extent. He still gets the views. He still gets the draw. He still gets the crowd attendances. But we are tired of the lack of appearances, the lack of matches. We, we want something fresh now. We want Cody as our world champion. Stories like this only come around every couple of years. We think of Brian Danielson. We think of Kofi Mania. That's been the ones in the last 15 years. Okay. Those two have been the ones in the last 15 years. And of which WWE weren't going to plan either one of those. They say they were, but we know they weren't. Liar! Liar! <laughs> so you've got to let Cody Rhodes defeat Roman Reigns in his second chance at it. Because he obviously lost last year when he was meant to finish the story. So let it happen this year. Let Cody Rhodes finish the story. First one, done and over, out of the way. Let's move on to the more interesting stuff. The second thing I'd like to see at WrestleMania 40 is probably a little bit more likely to happen now after Raw where Jimmy Uso ruined Jey Uso's chance at winning the IC title. And that is for Jimmy Uso versus Jey Uso to be a Philly street fight at WrestleMania. I don't want to see a normal match at this point. I want to see something different between these two. I want to see a Philly street fight in Philadelphia at WrestleMania 40. I think it'll be awesome. I think these two will beat the hell out of each other. They're clearly not scared to actually beat the hell out of each other, even though they're brothers. So I'm I'm down for it. I want a strip Philly street fight. Let them settle their differences at WrestleMania in a proper street fight. Because, you know, when you're watching so many matches at WrestleMania, sometimes you want something different in the middle of the card. And you want a little bit of chaos in the little in the middle of the card. And I think this is the perfect place for it. A little bit of chaos. They're not going to have an ongoing rivalry like, like Dominic and Ray did. This is probably going to be a one-time thing. They're going to hug afterwards. And it's going to be an awesome, awesome moment for both of them. And the fans included. That's what I think is going to happen. So especially, you'll, you'll understand more once I get to my final prediction. Of why they're going to hug and all that. So wait for that. Or my final not prediction. The thing I want to see. So wait for that. But I just think it'll be an awesome moment. A Philly Street fight would be super fun. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Make it happen WWE. Even just a normal match. But preferably a Philly Street fight. But a normal match seems probable at this point. Especially after Raw this week. And then we move on to the third thing that I need to see at WrestleMania 40. And that is for Rhea Ripley to retain her world championship. Now, whether she faces Liv Morgan, whether she faces Becky Lynch, whether she faces Raquel Rodriguez, because those seem like the only options. Bianca Belair could even be there, for, for God's sake. But anyway, there's a reason I'm not saying Bianca Belair. I think she needs to retain. I think she's been dominant, and I think she needs to maintain that dominance. But I do think, come the draft after WrestleMania, swap her and whoever's the champion on the other side. Get some different matches going, especially for Rhea Ripley. Or if not swapping her, swap a lot of the other people. You know, if you don't want to swap the titles around again. Just so we can get some different matches for Rhea Ripley. Because I think she's faced now nearly everybody. And by the time Mania happens, she would have faced everybody for the title. So it is getting a bit stale and a bit boring to that on that side of things. But the actual title run isn't boring yet. So I'd have her retain and retain her dominance. Maintain her dominance and look like an absolute powerhouse that she is. 
And then for the fourth thing I'd like to see at WrestleMania, also looking at the other women's title, is for Bailey to defeat Io Sky and become women's champion. Now, I've been longing for a Bailey face turn since she returned at SummerSlam a couple of years ago now. I think um, we got not all we could see from her as a heel, but we got most of what we could see from her as a heel before her return. Before she got injured, before she took that leave of absence. And I thought... As a face coming back, but not a childish face like she was previously, more of an adult face, would be perfect. And that turn on SmackDown was magnificent. That was that was so good. And unfortunately, it was ruined by The Rock ruining SmackDown that week. But it was so damn good what, what Bailey, Io, Oscar, Kyrie, they all did in that ring was so damn good. And it's really put me fully behind Bailey to win this title. And I think she deserves it. I think EO has done all she can do really at this point. She's quite limited without a mouthpiece. In other words, Bailey. And she's not going to have that mouthpiece now. So I'm I'm happy for Bailey to win the title, get a huge baby face pop, and we have a good moment at WrestleMania. That's what I want to see. And now for the fifth thing that we need to see at WrestleMania, that is a multi-man match for the US title, preferably like a ladder match for example. And this match could be on the opposite night to whatever Jimmy and Jay is with their street fight, just so that you do the same thing where you break it up in the middle or you start it hot with something different and that would be the ladder match. And I think Logan Paul would do well, we've seen him in the money in the bank, he did well, but when it's a match for the title, his title, he'll have more place to shine. And I think it leaves that that option of uncertainty in the match because like i think back to zack Ryder winning the ic title huge shock huge surprise i think back to india hartwell winning the nxt women's champion before she got injured huge surprise huge shock both were in ladder matches for a title and i think this you could do the same and the people i put in it is obviously logan paul kevin owens obviously because they're feuding um i'd have la knight of course I'd have AJ Styles because LA Knights and AJ Styles are beefing right now. I'd have Dragon Lee just for that high-flying aspect, that aspect of doing the crazy stuff. And then Braun Breaker to just absolutely run over everybody considering he's new on SmackDown. That gives him a place at WrestleMania because I think he needs a place at WrestleMania considering he's just been brought up. You know, you got to showcase him, but not, not too much. We, we're not trying to do Brock Lesnar 2.0 here, but we're trying to make him a star. And it just leaves the opportunity for someone like Bron Breaker to win the title and you wouldn't think twice because now it's a ladder match he didn't pin anyone you know or even LA Knight huge moment for him I think there's a lot of favorites that different people would pick in that match LA Knight probably being the biggest favorite but even if KO wins it even if AJ Styles wins it people will be happy regardless I think at that point so that's what I would do on either night the opposite night to Jimmy versus Jay in their street fight and now onto the sixth thing that I need to see at WrestleMania 40. And this one is a little bit of a stretch. In fact, it's a huge stretch. It's a huge reach and it probably won't happen. But Randy Orton has even hinted at it or asked for it or thrown it out there in recent weeks. And that is for Randy Orton versus John Cena at WrestleMania. You know, my childhood was built on Randy Orton, John Cena, Edge, all feuding. In other words, John Cena feuding with anybody else. That was my childhood. And to see this one more time would be so damn good i know it won't be for the title like back in the day and probably rightfully so it shouldn't be for the title but just think about how good that match would be even if it's a crap match like most of john cena's matches lately the pure nostalgia will make me look past all of that and it'll be a five-star classic i'm just being honest here the nostalgia factor behind that match would be wild i would love every minute of that match it would just bring me back to being a kid i don't see this match happening at all I don't see where Randy Orton fits in at WrestleMania. That's another thing. I, I really don't know where he fits in right now. Maybe in that US title match, but I don't really want to see that either. Because I think the man should be sticking to normal matches at his age and with his injury record. So, I don't know. I'm sure they'll find a place for Randy Orton. Maybe like a Randy versus Bobby Lashley or something along those lines. I don't know. Either way, this would be the perfect match for both men. And maybe even a John Cena retirement, unfortunately. Could be or even a double retirement i don't know I'm not saying i want the retirement but i want the match and the next thing i want for wrestlemania 40 is for drew mcintyre to win the world championship so drew mcintyre would then need to win the elimination chamber coming up this weekend and then win the world title thereafter against seth rollins and i just think drew mcintyre is doing some of the best work of his career as a heel as a a heel wanting to be acting as a babyface, if that makes... He thinks he's a babyface, but he's a heel. You know, he's always saying it's for the fans, it's for the people. But he's a heel. He's a heel at heart. And that's probably where he does his best work. And 
I'm loving every moment of it. The stuff with Punk, the stuff with Seth has been, the stuff with Cody even has been so damn good. They even gave him a win over Cody, which they clearly did that to give him a win against somebody big before Chamber, before Seth Rollins, you know. And I'm here for it. Drew McIntyre is world champion in front of the people. I think he'll get cheers. I don't think he'll even get booze, even though Seth Rollins is super over. I just think people like Drew McIntyre, like the work he's doing. And I'm I'm here for it. I'm really here for it. I think it's going to be great stuff. And it's going to be awesome. When he finally holds up that WWE Championship in front of 80,000 people, it's a moment that he definitely deserves. And then the next thing that I need to see at WrestleMania 40 is Sami Zayn versus Gunther for the Intercontinental title. And I think this is where Gunther loses. I think this is where it's done and over for Gunther. This is where Gunther now moves up to the main event and starts working with those people. When he defeats Sami Zayn, who needs a title, he's been talking about winning a gold, um, talking about finding his way back, talking about him not ha- him losing all these matches and not being himself. I think him defeating Gunther for that prestigious title that Gunther has made it would be very good. I think Sami deserves a moment at WrestleMania. I say this often, he literally had his biggest moment last year. But I think he still deserves something for, for all that. A singles title for all of his work that he's put in. And I think him versus Gunther would have a fantastic match. I think it would be perfect for Mania because it's two top stars. I just I just want to see that match. And I think it will be really good. And I think Sami Zayn could come out on top and actually be a believable contestant for Gunther. That's the thing. Gunther doesn't have any believable challenges anymore. Jey Uso is one of them. He lost. So I'm I'm thinking Sami Zayn is the only one left at this point. And then the next thing I need to see at WrestleMania 40 is Bianca Belair versus Tiffany Stratton. And I think Tiffany Stratton has proven she can work on the main roster. It's been two short matches. But we saw her stuff with Becky Lynch, for example. That's a main roster talent. That's someone you can compare with. And she did excellent. She did as good as you can do in that situation with Becky Lynch. And it was a perfect match. Or not a perfect match. It was a very, very good match. And I need her to take on Bianca Belair in this situation. I think that would be excellent. I think Bianca Belair could obviously get the win and continue her streak that she's been pushing. Tiffany can take a loss but look good in that loss against someone like Bianca Belair. I think it just makes sense. It makes perfect sense. And they set it up by her confronting Bianca Belair a couple times now. That includes on her debut and then includes a couple nights ago on Raw. So I'm happy for that match. Sorry if you guys can hear the rain in the background, but we're on the last step now. And that is for WrestleMania 40 for The Rock to turn on Roman Reigns. I'm thinking in the tag match before night one, which I think is going to happen, I'm thinking The Rock turns on Roman Reigns. And that sets up the match for next year between them two without the title. And that allows Cody to defeat Roman without the bloodline, you know. It can somehow lead to a breakup in the bloodline. Jimmy and Jay will be busy. Solo will somehow, I think we can make him busy within this Rock and Roman story. And I think that just makes sense. It sets up next year. It helps us understand why he's teaming up with The Rock. You know, he wants to cause a rift between them two. And I think that will be the perfect way to set up a match for next year. I don't think there's any other way to do it right now. And I think The Rock turning on Roman. Potentially turning Roman face. Potentially turning Roman face in the the process. Because... I think he's been a heel for a very long time. Now, maybe let's try see him as a face under this new Roman character. And we won't see him as often. He won't have the title. So why can't we cheer him? You know what I'm saying? It's not like he's been ruining our TV like he has been for the last three weeks or three years by not pitching up. He's now a face. He can come and do his shows in between. He can defeat The Rock. It's all good. I'm happy with it. Two part-timers facing off against each other. I don't care. You're not burying a full-time wrestler. That's all that matters to me. So with that being said, that is my 10 things that I need to see at WrestleMania 40. I'm sorry if I waffled on here. Um, I'm just super excited for WrestleMania. And yeah, let me know what you want to see at WrestleMania 40 down below. And then we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace.